Smile for the camera. Come here, You ready face. to play, buddy? Yeah, you look good. <laughs> Is that your hockey face? That's a, oh boy, that's a good hockey face. <laughs> Dad, can you yep. do this for me? Mm -hmm. You guys all excited? Yeah. Huh? Is this yeah. a big game? Yeah. yeah. I'd say it is, isn't it? This is your first big game, right? Are you going to take pictures of us? I'm going to put you on TV. Is that okay? I saw TV. Yeah, you want to be on TV? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. So play good out there, okay? I want some really good skating. We're and get go lots on of TV? goals. Yeah. Alright, let's see you sit on the bench. Come on, everybody in on the bench. Jerry Davis. Alright. Maddox, Jeremy, on the ice. Lydia on the ice. Hunter on the ice. Phantoms on the ice. Yeah, I've been president for uh, three years. Fantastic. So, uh, you know, my son's partaking here. That's he awesome. That's the awesome. Love it. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the routine. How's it all work? Uh, we have nine teams. Uh, they practice twice a week during the week. Uh, you know, eight of the teams travel on the weekends. Uh, the junior high school travels every Friday to Raynham. Uh, all the other teams travel all over the Cape and Islands, all the way down from uh, Fall River to uh, all the way up to Orleans. Probably as far north as uh, uh, Wareham, up 495. Uh, you know, the playoffs are in two weeks. We have uh, five teams in the playoffs out of uh, seven in the league. So we had a good showing. We'll try to win a championship for some of the teams and get them home, get it home. So the, the high school, how does the high school fit in to, to this? Because well, we the high feed, school had a great year. They did an excellent year. Well, we feed the high school. So, you know, it takes a long time to learn how to play hockey. So, uh, uh, you know, the kids are just not going to pick it up in high school like some sports. So, you know, the earlier they start, like, like your son, the earlier they start, the more chance they have of later down the road of, you know, really be a player. So, uh, Have you been with Nantucket Ice since the beginning? Uh, the second year, so second I guess eight year. years. You should, you should pat yourself on the back if, that, if people haven't already done so because uh, it's amazing how fast these kids have really taken over. Well, you know, you, you've probably seen a lot of the groups, Gino. Some are really good. Unbelievable. You know, yeah. I mean, how, if this high school squad is any indication, they have just... Yeah. What a, what a great team I, that I, I actually think that the, you'll see better hockey coming up. I mean, it might take a couple more years, but... The numbers don't get really good. Like the high school team is three or four kids at every grade level, but we have nine and ten at grade levels coming up down the road in a few years. So when they get there, there'll be ten seniors that can play, ten juniors, ten sophomores, ten freshmen. Then you really see some hockey. So, so how about some of these high school kids? Do they are they looking at schools just like they look at football and lacrosse? I mean, are there schools out there that would be willing to take a I think a, a kid a scholarship? Uh, you know, it's, it's so competitive. You know, it's Do we tough. have any at this stage? Uh, we have had none up to date that I know of. Right. I mean, you know, there's a kid that plays in the high school team that has a chance, I think. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, but uh, it's tough from here, you know. When you go off island and play the select teams everywhere, they move the talent up. So from the Nantucket, you can't really play up because we're an island. So mm -hmm. unless you uh, join the team off island and practice a couple times a week and a couple games in a weekend off island, which would be pretty tough on here, you know? Yeah. So it's, it, it's kind of good for Nantucket, though, because some of our teams uh, can go around and play. Uh, they have different levels of teams. Uh, 
this A teams would be the best level at a score, a night level or a score level or peewee level. Uh, we have some good teams because, because off island, select teams raid the towns. Like Bonstable has 550 kids, we've bought 120. Wow. But you know, we have levels of, levels of our teams can beat the Bonstable teams. Because select teams have plucked the real, the real diamonds, you know what I mean? So, but they can't leave here, so it's kind of good for us in one way, you know? Now, for those parents that are thinking on the fence about bringing their kids over here to play hockey, you know, a lot of people think that it's very expensive. How, how do you? Is well, it? well, it's. Uh, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but I don't think it's anywhere near what people think it is. We, uh, the kids, the travel teams pay eight fifty a kid, eight hundred fifty dollars a kid. We started Labor Day and it's still going. So it ends uh, March twenty fifth. It's the tournament weekend for everybody. The playoffs, and the only team that keeps playing after that, the junior high team, plays for about two or three more weeks, and then it's over. So they've played for seven months. We pay for all the boat rides. For, for that price. Most teams mm -hmm. pay, play about uh, 27 games. Low rides, buses, everything we take care of. All the ice time, they probably practice 50 times. Um, we raise about $70,000 a year. On top of that, On top of that, out. like yeah. Nantucket Golf Club helps us out. We fundraise, you probably see us all over the place fundraising. Uh, you know, if we didn't fundraise, we wouldn't have 120 kids, we'd probably have 50 kids. So by and fundraising, more expensive. absolutely. But you know, this program's off island. It's fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. Kids are playing select teams could, could spend five thousand dollars. And what about if your kid isn't? You know, my kid's five, but suppose you got a ten-year-old, or you know, is it too late? Uh, you know what, Ethan Lofty, that's a uh, that's one of the better players on the high school team. He graduates this year. You probably saw him playing oh, the sure. defenseman number twenty. Uh, he started when he was eleven. So there you go right there. You know, the late bloomers sometimes are awesome, Gino. So, uh, no, it's not too late. You can come. Uh, you know, we're winding down right now. Uh, we have two weeks to go. But, uh, you know, in the summer we have a rec league. Kids can sign up for a rec league. It's like uh, $120 for eight to, ten time, eight to ten sessions, you know. There's learn the skates with the rink. Uh, there's camps here. Every week during the summer there's like a different camp here. It's usually in the morning. You sign up for a camp for the week. It's, it's a great way to jump ahead a few months of hockey, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we start again Labor Day. I mean, you can sign up whenever you want. We have websites. Uh, we have sign-ups here at the rink. You can call me. I mean, uh, uh, look on our website, uh, NantucketYouthHockey.com. Uh, there's always people around, always board members around you can talk to to, uh, to get involved. All right. And, and, and the girls. I can't forget. Well, these girls. I, I have a daughter to play. Uh, but not just hockey. You've also got figure skating. Oh, there's, right. you know, I don't, we don't run that though, but oh yeah, there's two skating groups. Uh, yeah. so they have a big show here at the beginning of April. Right. Uh, I know we were on the bus with them, on the boat with them uh, Saturday morning going off. They were going to Fitchburg for a uh, competition. Uh, the girl that runs it, I said, she said they have 70 girls in that group. I mean, like, there's a, there's a few hundred kids that this rink affects all the time. Plus the men's leagues, the rec leagues, the, the adult leagues and stuff. Uh, Chip Clooney runs, runs an older girls team out of here. Um, the high school teams, I mean, I, I mean, you can make a case of 500 kids that skate, skate here on the island. It's crazy, really, you know? Glad to see you. It's awesome. Let's hope it gets better. Thanks, buddy. Lindsay, yes. are you, you're one of the coaches. Yes, sir. Now, what do you do when you're not coaching the kids? Uh, carpentry. <laughs> are you? Yeah. And do you play hockey as well? I play hockey, uh, run, run, the, the run the men's league. You run that? Yeah, with help from one or two guys. But uh, So tell me a little bit about why you like doing this. Uh, I think the hockey rink's a great place to be, and uh, both my sons play, so it's uh, very enjoyable giving them, uh, you know, the opportunity to play and uh, watching them uh, firsthand. Um, but as well as all the other kids, and the, you know, I see the kids out and about in town or wherever, and they say, "Hey, coach!" and uh, very rewarding. That's good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh yeah. How definitely. do you know if you got somebody that's? Can you tell right away if they've got the skills? Uh, not always. You can, you know, some kids they get better after a while, and uh, there's. What I like about hockey is it's one of the more unique sports in that uh, you know, each kid is so different and possesses such a different skill set that uh, you know, it's pretty neat to see you know, each kid has their own little things that they do differently from the next. Yeah, right. Um, now, what about getting hurt? Uh, is, that, is that even possible? With getting hurt? Yeah. Uh, it's possible, unfortunately. Injuries yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, we try to minimize those injuries and you know, teach them safety and get them the proper pads. and. Uh, you know, hopefully that, uh, you know, again, minimize the injuries because we don't want anyone to get hurt and we want them to be, want, 
want them to always be happy when they leave the rink so that they want to come back and make it as enjoyable as possible. So uh, for the most part, I think we've done a really good job with that and the kids all really enjoy it. Um, as you can see by the numbers, we almost 26 or 28 kids maybe somewhere in there. So it's a, it's a great program.